This is Laura GP, and in this short video, we're going to look at stripping the time from a date time column to make it date only. So, here we are in my Power BI report. I've got a table of projects with a start date and finish date. I want to remove the time from them. I'm not interested in the time and I want to use this date column to connect to a calendar. So we have two options. The first one is going to be in Power Query and the second one, if Power Query is not available, um, is to do it here in DAX. So let's do the Power Query one first. So if I click on the Home ribbon and Transform Data. So here we are in Power Query. So there's two options to strip it down to just being the date. If I click on the date, the start date column, we can either go to add column and go for date, date only, and that will add me an extra column. Now that might be what you need, but it's not always. Okay, so I'm going to remove that step and I'm going to click on my project start date column and instead of add column, I'm going to go to transform. And there is the same button and date only. And this time it transforms the column in place. So there we are, my project start date is just a date. And when I go through to close and apply, my project start date is just stripped to a date. Now, you don't always have access to go to Power Query, such as if you're connecting to a data set. So instead, this time, I want to take this column and I want to create a new column based off this column, just showing the date. So from Column Tools, I click New Column. And we're going to call this Finish Date. And we're going to use the Date function. OK. So shift return, let's lay this out nicely. So the first thing it wants is the year. Now for this, we can use the year function and it's going to be based off the finish date. So find the finish date. So that's year done. Then we're going to put in the month. And again, that's off the finish date. And third parameter is the day. So again, the day function, finish date. And that's the three parameters. Put in a close bracket to finish off the date function and press return. Now that gives you a column that actually is formatted date and time, but we can change that in the column tools ribbon by changing the format to just be date. And that will match up cleanly with the relationship. If you don't want there to be the confusion of the two columns, what we can do is we can right click on the project finish date and we can hide in the report view so that we end up with our two columns, um, but one of them is hidden. So, that covers the two methods. One is to go back into Power Query, which I have to admit is my preference because it's, I think it's cleaner. And the other is to put a calculated column in DAX. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.